Let's get into it. The Q&A. <laughs> Dirty. Dumb, da dumb, dumb. That's funny. Give it up for Beardy. He's on uh, he's on the Sweatcoin app. He walked uh, 88 steps today. 88 steps. Must have pushed the refrigerator away. Maddie, see ya. Panda Pie says, Rob, show the white paper of Bitcoin. It's not a Ponzi. It's just for exactly. It is. You know, we just went over, we just read. Well, we went over the uh, Satoshi Nakamoto white paper. Only nine pages. And uh, I, I got to tell you, um, I got to tell you, in, in, in the white paper itself, it's very specific. It is for a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. You're supposed to use it. You're not supposed to hodl it forever. You're supposed to be able to buy things with it, goods and services. That's the whole point of it. Now, people say it's a store of value. I guess you can make it whatever you want to. But, you know, don't demonize people for them selling their Bitcoin at some point and wanting to pay off their house or buy a car or do whatever they want to do. That's what Bitcoin was meant to be. So stop with the nonsense of the diamond hand stuff. Vicky, thank you. Not financial ego tax advice, channels for entertainment purpose only. Dan is not an expert, obviously. Or a financial planner. These are Dan's opinions. Please perform your own Dan research. Da -da -da. All right. Norman, what's next in crypto? What should we be watching out for? You know what we should be watching out for? Um, the forgetfulness of the market itself. And, we, and we've talked about this, you know, at length, I think, about the people who were here before us, long time ago OGs, who had a bunch of their, their funds in, in FTX, just forgot the principles of uh, taking everything off, myself included. And uh, what's going to happen is we're going to remember that right now because it's fresh. But in one year, two year, five years, when the new people come in, or even just us, maybe we get a little complacent and we don't remember these things. This is why we must be ever vigilant in things that we talk about and remind people that, hey, self-custody is imperative. I'm going to give you three examples why. It's called Voyager Celsius FTX. I know you don't know who they are because this is new time in 2025, 2026, or 2025, and there's a bull run. This is why we do these things, because of what happened. So I'm counting on all you guys to help me out. Ah, Rob, could they any good? Worth it? No idea. But you know who does know? Did a great video, CTO Larson. I always refer people to him. <laughs> Rob, is there any way to set limits on DXD, D, DYXD, Jerry Soil Leverage? No idea. I know Jerry said it. Not really familiar with that at all. Uh go from there. Maybe Tom Crown knows. And here he is. Was the wash trading rule in crypto applied this year? I'm not for sure. However, good news, Tom. I'm partnering up with uh, CoinLedger, the uh, crypto tax platform, who are going to bring on real CPAs. Well, not real. I mean, real CP, all real CPAs. CPAs that uh, specialize in cryptocurrency digital assets. And they're going to answer all everybody's questions. So we'll do it live. Everybody can come here, ask their questions, and go from there. I don't believe so, but good news is if you're in the States, we got time. I think April 13, 15, around the corner. Destructive. I can listen to you all day, sir. Thank you. Probably not a good idea. You should get out there and watch other people's channels, though. Tom Crown being one of them. Uh, ben James, CTO Larson, uh, Paul Barone, uh, Mike the Investor, uh, Hashoshi. Dan from Crypto Recruiter, I think it is, who I'm still waiting to do a collab video with, but whatever. Let's see. <laughs> Confluence at 8 to 10K. What do you reckon, DGen? <laughs> I'm trying to stay away from the DGen stuff as much as possible. All right, I did that in 2021, but I still got some plays in there. Not meme, it's a lot smaller than I thought. It looks like a notebook. Oh, uh, meme's talking about the... Um, uh, the shield folio it can tell the pages are made out of stone, but it's a durable makes me good. Yeah, it, it works out pretty well. I got like three. Ooh, Jane Chow. What's with the good stuff? Could Coinbase be lying to us that Genesis parent has 620k Bitcoin? Maybe they sold some to cover up for three. Them not transparent to cover up because of a security concern just bring more doubt. You know, Jerry Hall had a great point yesterday. He said, you have to remember that 
Coinbase is a publicly traded company. So the things they talk about are essentially their, not their opinion, but they can be, be held uh, responsible for the things that they put out for their company itself. So if they say it is, then it's supposed to be. And of course, that legally, uh, they could be in hot water if they essentially lie. But I was thinking about it as like, Jerry's right, first of all. But I was thinking about it, I'm like, well, everybody's in hot water if they do the wrong thing. Look at Sam SBF, probably gonna go to jail. But who knows? So I just wonder. I just it, it's just it is very odd and and I get it, but like the thing we just talked about with with DCG group, who has, you know, they're a part of uh, Grayscale and Genesis, who are both looking One's looking really shaky and one's up in the air. It just makes me makes me wonder a lot. Do I think the bottom is in? Absolutely not. That's these are the things that make me think that the bottom is not in because of these Grace Wan events, we'll say it. Oh, thank you, Jeff. You look immediately. So I work out every day, but the difference is I try to eat more. The problem is as you get older, and you know, you'll know this. As you get older, it's hard to keep it's hard to keep muscle on. You start losing muscle and gain fat, which is how it is. But uh, that's why you take you take testosterone. It's usually why it works out. Let's see. Uh, Carrie says, how are we going to the drawing? So yesterday, Carrie, we had a drawing for Shield Foley. We'll do it again. And it was just, you had to go, you had to essentially like the video yesterday and then uh, tweet or retweet, like and comment on uh the uh, tweet that I put out about uh, the giveaway on Twitter. That was it. I would like to just do a straight giveaway for people here, but I got to figure out how to do that and how for people to contact me over YouTube to where they can tell me their address. Cause you can't just put your address here in, in the comment section. That would make no sense. I don't know. I'm sure there's a way. Yeah, Tom, I'll, I'll, I'll send it over to you. Uh, Polygon, you know, gone go up. I was going to ask this question because let's take a look. You know, we never look at anymore. I don't really care. I mean, I know I should, but I don't. Um, the price of crypto, and I did, I, I did take a look at it real quick today because I was like, you know, just to see the market cap, <laughs> eight hundred thirty-seven billion. That's sad. But Polygon, twenty-four hours, seven point three percent. I wonder what the. Uh, what the partnership was. Look at Litecoin, 12% up 21% for the week. Is that right? Is Litecoin the number one? Yeah. Holy smokes. See? Things you don't know. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure there's a great reason for that. But uh, yeah, Polygon, that's one of my one of my buys. Me and Ben go round and round about this, about uh, buying altcoins. But uh I don't know. I still do it and, and take some profits along the way. I kind of like doing it just so I can remind myself that I can take profits like with Polygon. Just have to get the, uh, the alerts. Let's see. Sarah says, will you marry me? I am already married to the, a great, great woman. I'm good. Ben's YouTube link. James's YouTube link. Thank you, Bicky. Ledger is my only crypto-related purchase that hasn't... <laughs> uh. Woo, fire. That's true. That is true. Uh, let's see. Hashoshi is underrated. Really smart guy. Good guy. Puts out great content. Just uh, isn't uh, into sensationalism. And uh, he's, his videos need to be viewed more. That's what it is. Uh, Army of Spies. I've heard of that one. Thank you, Nick. Oh, you know what else someone told me? That uh, Muesli Swap has, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they said that Muesli Swap has uh, limit orders on the decks. Is that true? That's pretty interesting. The Mertasia, who helps out me and a bunch of other YouTubers to come about the, um, the scams that are going on in uh, Twitter. Thank you, my man. I appreciate you. Actually, everybody, and all the, all the, uh, the wrenches, Jungle Inc. is here, legend. Hey, Jungle, when are they going to roll that out for the uh, Bitcoin uh, investments? Can you do it right now? I thought there was a, a waiting period. 
I'm coming out with an asbestos passbook. I hope it catches on. Be good for the fires. Not good for the cancer. Let's see. True. Voyager was, you know what, Zed? Voyager was publicly traded, and guess what? The thing with them, if it wasn't for the fact that they were publicly traded and they had to put out their assets and liabilities, I never would have known that they would have made, they made that loan to Three Arrows Capital. That's the reason why I put that video out is because because of the documentation that was put out because they're a publicly traded company, then guess what? I figured out, well, everybody knew at that point, they made a loan to Three Arrows Capital for $640 million and it was uncollateralized. And when I figured that out, and you can look at, hold on, let me show you. So people are like, ah, Rob didn't do that. It's a good point, but I have a timeline here. It's in all my videos now. Voyager timeline. On June 22nd, when I figured that out, I said, take all your crypto off Voyager. I said I was still going to use it, but I was going to take it off. And here's the link. Then July 1st, the withdrawals were frozen. The difference is between, between uh, Voyager and uh, I trust is that Voyager told you, look, we're not making loans, but we rehypothecate your crypto. Where do you think the yield came from, right? So in that situation, then of course they could do whatever they wanted to. And you agreed to it. I agreed to it. Because we thought it was safe. Of course, when we figured it out, we got our stuff off, right? Right, right? And off we go. So I trust is telling you the exact different. They're saying, look, we don't rehypothecate, we don't loan, we don't do anything with your funds. It's in cold storage. And that's it. I mean, again, could they be lying to you? Is this something that you that everybody has to do? I'm telling you to do it. No. Have to make sure it's right for you. Just like with Tom. Like Tom Crown had we had a great interview. I encourage everybody to watch the video. It was on Sunday. He talks about limit orders. To fill those limit orders, you got to leave some money on the exchange. And he's like, I can do that because, you know, I, I'm okay with it. But for some people who are like trying to make ends meet and uh, they're living paycheck to paycheck, I'm not telling you to do that. Everybody's different. That's why like I just, even like the random people, I just do what you want to do. I have not your dad. I can't help you. Yeah. That country says it. These YouTubers take money to promote scams. They say, oops, sorry, once you're scammed, be wary. I'm not going to shy away from it. So as far as like taking money per se, it's affiliate links. So if you don't have to use affiliate links, you can go from there, right? Now, of course, once I figure out something is wrong, I tell people as fast as I can. But look, Celsius, same thing. I figured out the day before. Granted, I should have been faster. Don't want to spread foot, all that stuff. That was on me. But Voyager, okay, I said two weeks before. And then also we do these things called the rules. Have you seen these rules? It's all gone. Don't invest more you can afford to lose. Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. Take everything off the exchanges. Don't use leverage and take profits on the way. So in those situations, yes. And that's it. But uh, I won't shy away from it. I made mistakes. I really wish I uh, wouldn't have ever talked to... Actually, no, no, I'm going to take that back. Celsius worked until it didn't. Celsius got ahead of itself and did something. They did something that made them... They were trying to chase yield, and they got riskier and riskier. Remember, in March of 2020, the only people that they had to liquidate because of loans? Three. Because they had enough crypto reserves and cash reserves to cover everything. They were fine. Unfortunately, as time goes on, people get greedy and they get sloppy. And that's really what it comes down to. And that's for everything. Even this channel. At some point, hopefully not, I may put out just trash. Just trash videos that are like, this is not what I signed up for. And at that point, you have to leave. Because Rob makes trash videos. So remember, nothing lasts forever. And that's the problem. That, that is the problem. And that's why you can't sit and forget it. you got to be in this game like daily. Said, ah, that's what it was. Sailor said, Litecoin is like Bitcoin on security. So the almighty Michael Sailor speaks, and everybody says, That's great. <laughs> Tom Crown, Tom Crown is a Litecoin scale. Jing Chow, any concern that miners will sell more Bitcoin later? Absolutely, they're they have to. Some miners are already in big debt because they overextended. Yes, 
if they're shut down due to energy crutch, it probably won't be enough. Next box one. Here's another question though. The question then becomes, this is a, this, how much do you think, how much do you think that the miners have in reserves right now and haven't sold? Because here's a good here's a good post. Because some have already sold, some are already out. They're out the, they're out the door. The Bitcoin miners are done because not only is it is the Bitcoin mining price decreasing, but the cost of energy is going up exponentially. And if you're outside of like Texas and other places, they feel the crunch bigly, big time. Here's a, here's a post I, I, I got a couple of days ago. Check this out. I think the smaller Bitcoin mining companies are, are hurting because of stuff like this. So this Zach Guzman, he says, just how bad is the crypto collapse? My landlord friend in Dallas, Dallas, just asked me if I know anything about Bitcoin miners. The Bitcoin mining company defaulted, moved out, and left all their equipment behind, which I think is kind of weird. You'd think that they would sell those at least for some, some revenue. But uh, maybe that's just a one-off, not for sure. But then we can take a look here at CryptoQuant. Let me put in my password, one, two, three, four, five. All right. And uh, let's see, dashboard. Da, 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 da. My dashboard my dashboard here it is so there's a there's a great on-chain metric called bitcoin miners outflow what how much are they selling and you can see back here it was just a sell fest you know back in the day but then it's kind of just tapered off now we can see that as things started to heat up man they sold off massively you know what this was right here in 2021 right this big sell-off this was when china banned all crypto miners roughly around that time and all the miners had to sell, so they get out of China and go to other places. And now here we are. Let's drill in. Let's drill down and see what they're doing. Is it anything exponentially different? Well, a little. Huh, this is interesting. So you've got the price at 15.8, quite a bit of a spike here, November, November 9th. But it's been pretty stable the last week or so. Let's take a look at... Let's go back a couple months. Little spikes. Let's go back, back. Not as bad as, that was a pretty big spike, I must admit. So here you got to think about maybe miners are capitulating. They're selling off and maybe that's some of the last ones to go. And again, just like we saw with uh, Riot, the cost base is $8,300. So if Bitcoin hits below that, you're going to see a massive sell off because they got to keep the lights on. But uh, who knows? Could be wrong. Just something to look at. Also, always take a look at that, that Puel multiple. The one that looks like, uh, looks like that. Helps you kind of distinguish like what's the noise and what's not. Let's see. Ask George about the Litecoin movement. Uh, I'll ask him on his next show. Oh, okay. There's rumors about something big, Litecoin, in the next six months. Well, you know what that means? That means everyone's going to start buying Litecoin like crazy. Just kidding. Don't do that. Who knows? Maybe Charlie Lee is going to buy all his, all his Litecoin back after he dumped it at the top in 2017. Unpopular opinion. Uh, Litecoin is useless. Bitcoin is any silver. Someone found a, I guess somebody found something for it. Not for sure. Ajan, welcome. New YouTube member. Awesome. Thanks for being a member. Fidelity is still a waiting list. Excellent. <laughs> when Army of Wrenches side channel. That'd be a good one. Ah, Bajarki's here. Look, don't expect Bajarki to start giving away memberships like, like he always does. I mean, he's he's got to buy crypto too. <laughs> When Sharky. Thank you, Vicky. Excellent. Team Benny. Team Sharky. Uh, could it be? Let's see. 
could the jump in new waters be really attributed to the uh, the rise in, in hot coal wall uses? Yeah, perhaps. Who knows? Well, actually, yeah. Maybe I looked at that wrong. Let's see. Enable gifts. Where are we? <laughs> Make it rain. Oh, Tom says, I have a friend of Fidelity said they opened a retail Monday. Maybe it's like a soft opening. Like that's what a lot of businesses will do. They'll, they'll give it to uh, a select few of, um, of uh, investors and just see how it goes and they'll roll out uh, everybody. I didn't listen to my word. Don't beat yourself up. I told you to take all your crypto off. Even I didn't take all my crypto off. So all my BGX tokens, which right now are worthless, I should have sold. But uh, yeah. Even I mess up. I mean, duh, duh, I'm not going to say like even I. I mess up all the time. That's my wife. She'll tell you. <laughs> uh Ah, it's an interesting point. Retro restoration says 90% of my crypto has been consolidated Bitcoin. The rest is multiplying itself in ADA staking. Pretty good. Pretty good way to do things. Bitcoin is sitting in my Trezor while I watch the panic and fall. Feels good to send the sounds for a bit. I got to try a Trezor. I've been uh, Ledger forever. I got to just try it to see how it is. Does anybody use it? Retro, do you like the Trezor? Is it like easy to use? I find Ledger pretty easy, except for the, the app sometimes kind of a little screwy. Uh, John, I'm loaded on my soul. It's a pretty wise move. I think there's more pain to be, but who knows? No, Texas, we have energy crunches here and there, especially when the grid, when it's super hot, the grid gets, uh, it gets taxed uh, exponentially. But uh, the other big thing was uh, the infrastructure was a problem in, the, in their last, uh, we had a 100-year cold storm, I think, last year, and a lot of people lost power. Some people died, actually. It was pretty awesome, awful. But that was because the infrastructure, not the amount of energy that they produced. <laughs> Crypto McFly says, no one talked about how hot Monero was. I used to have Monero. I just don't have any more. Ah, he already gave a hundred. Man, Jarky's on top of things. Hmm. Lots of people are saying Binance is gearing up to knock Tether off its peg and sink competitors. It's true. Look, I've been talking about Tether forever, about how I don't trust it. Still keeps its peg. However, I will say this. Everything's cool until it isn't. Everything works until it doesn't. So who knows? i just not going to put any of my harder money into a stable coin right now i took it i have like one percent in stables which is in my metamask wallet because when i want to do goofy things then i'll have a little bit of stable coins there but that's it everything else is in cash sitting in a bank fdic insured which is amazing how long ago were we talking about how cash is trash Dalio. and now of course now we're talking about how cash is king it's amazing how that works out but Ben was right on that one. Yeah, Greg said, hey, Rob, wasn't there supposed to be a bunch of Solana getting on stake? There was. I don't know exactly what happened, but you can see the price. Price did uh, dump over the last uh, couple of weeks, that's for sure. I mean, part of that is the FTX, right? FTX was a big backer of uh, Solana. Yeah, exactly. Payne says, if you're diversified across all investments, you don't have to be in so many coins in crypto if you have too many coins. And that's the thing, like you guys all know that I'm not, I'm not massively, I mean, I'm diversified as much as I possibly can be across all asset classes. Like this is, this is my, my portfolio. And most is in cash. 1%, I think it's even less than that is in, uh, stables five percent of dgen eh, maybe maybe three to five percent four percent roughly in masterworks again fractionalized shares of artwork which is regulated by the sec and every penny that they have is and don't forget 
do not forget they just artwork just sold 1.5 billion in this in this bear market. Five percent in land, roughly. Yeah, it's maybe a little more. Thirty-five percent is in uh, real estate, which is what me and the wife do mostly. Uh, Amazon business, five percent. Fifteen percent in staking, roughly one percent. I thought it was more in iTrust Capital, one to three, but it. it but the value went down so much because crypto went down so much. And then 5% I have in stocks. Stocks. Because why not? Right? Paul says, do you watch any YouTuber that's out of crypto? No, I hate them all. No, I'm just kidding. I watch uh, I watch uh, Ben James. I watch uh, Hishoshi whenever he gets around to putting a video out. I would have watched Simon Yu if he'd ever give a YouTube video or YouTube channel. Uh, Paul Barone's got uh, great stuff. CTO Larson always comes up on my on my feed. I watch the Daily Brothers, Altcoin Daily. They always have uh, good stuff. Uh, around the blockchain, the BitBoy channel, every so often, I'll, I'll catch that. Uh, Crypto Wendy, uh, Crypto Casey. Um, oh, guy from Coin Bureau, yeah. Both channels, pretty good. Pretty much a hodgepodge. I do a lot of things. So like I, uh, when I'm doing things outside, I just pop my earbuds in and listen to everybody I can. Pomp every so often. Uh, Rob, do you have a favorite football team? Well, the Cornhuskers, of course. Uh, what's your opinion of Solana? Heard uh, Magical Eden moved to Polygon. Oh, <laughs> Really? Is the future left for sole developers or a stigma of FTX too much? They're going to take a hit, but uh, I got to tell you, like a friend of mine, Steven, he talks to me, he said, hey, have you ever used Solana for DeFi? No. He goes, you know, it's super fast and super cheap. Like, want. The problem is that people really hate the fact that, uh, you know, Solana, the head of Solana development get on the phone with all the, all the node operators and go, look, reset. And that doesn't seem very decentralized. I think that's a problem, me personally, right? Like Charles Hoskins can, can do whatever he wants to uh, for Cardano stake pool operators, and we're not going to do what he says, just not. Even when there was the upgrade a couple months ago, he's like, we want everybody to upgrade. And we're like, no, we'll test it. And of course, I don't, I'm not the technical person, obviously, for my stake pool. It's, uh, uh, we have a team that deals with that, very sharp individuals, and uh, they said, we're not going to upgrade until we see some proof and do some testing. That's what it was. So I like Cardano. Speaking of which, I'm going to have uh, Mickey Watkins from uh, World Mobile Token on uh, relatively soon. So get your questions out. Tweet at me or send me a message, and I'll ask uh, Mickey what, uh, what you guys got. Mickey Watkins. Yeah, you know, you got you to gotta just go for it say so one thing i learned in the military you know you screw up you come back you see you raise your hand and go yeah, i messed that up that wasn't me because if you don't admit your mistakes uh you can't Im improve on those mistakes and then people die so that's pretty much why you have to admit your mistakes and move on very simple uh, let's see <laughs> yeah. vuli says ted cruz on vacation as texans were stuck on a highway that's true that is very true can't deny that Ah, Tortuga Keel. Diversify your holdings of both Trezor and Ledger. That's a good, yeah, you can do that. I should do that, actually. I should put it on Trezor. Eh, it's all cold storage, but it'll be interesting to find something else. Jarky says, no gold or silver. Why not? Why not? When the apocalypse comes, which is what all the, all the gold bugs will tell you, why not? Still living in Puerto Rico? Absolutely. You don't get those types of trees in Texas. Chavo says, what do you think about the Cardano privacy coin called, I think it's called Midnight. I don't know much about it, so I can't really speak on it. Sounds awesome. <laughs> ah, Dr. Payne, a fellow veteran, 20-year Air Force retiree. Thank you, sir, for your service. Appreciate you. Rob, you look at your Twitter DMs. Uh, the ones that the people that I follow, yes. But the other ones, it's all like if you DM me, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to miss it because I get so much. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Can you talk about our 
project on your channel. And I just, and hello, you know, Amanda, blah, 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 wants to be your friend. Yeah. So I, I don't really talk about them. Yeah, I hate those cokies too. And with that, John is correct. This is the, the, the most expensive green screen you can get right here. It's very tough to do. I am in my mom's basement. Time for meatloaf. I got to get out of here. So look, everybody, uh, coming up in an hour. So thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, all the good stuff. I mean, YouTube sometimes does actually notify people. I was wrong. But that is it. So thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. I will see you on the next one. Adios. Hi.